Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recover permanently deleted photos and videos on any iOS device. This works on iPhones and on iPads as well. So uh, first of all, I'm going to show you something that might be useful for you. I know not a lot of people knows it, but if you go to the um, to your gallery, then scroll down and then go here on recently delete. Here you'll find like uh, photos and videos that have been deleted on the past uh, 30 days, uh, you will be able to recover them by just selecting them, okay? But in this video, I'm going to show you how to recover photos and videos in case that you like do this and then just are, I mean, that you delete them permanently, as you can see. So I'm going to show you how to uh, recover those photos and videos that have been deleted permanently. So to do this, I'm going to use this app called Photos Plus. This is an app that it's not available on the App Store, but I'm going to show you how to install it. Um, you don't need any special permission or anything like that, but let me show you how this app works. So when you open it, this is how it looks, the Photos app. And um, basically this will allow you to recover permanently uh, deleted photos and videos. So to do this, just press on the recover button. This will start uh, loading and scanning your device on your cache to see if it can recover permanently deleted photos and videos. because. All those photos and videos don't get really, uh, they don't get really removed. They are on the system for like one year. And then after one year, when the uh, memory of Cache flashes, then uh, they get deleted. As you can see, it has found 178 e items, which uh, 21 of them are, by, are videos. So just press and recover, and this will start, as you can see, recovering uh, all those photos and videos. So what you need to do is just wait until this gets complete and then uh, all the photos and videos will be saved directly on your gallery. So just go on the Photos app and you will see all the photos and videos that have been recovered. And that's it. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to get this Photos Plus app on your device. So first of all, what you need to do is go in the settings on your iPhone. Uh, scroll down, you need to go to the battery section and here just make sure that you have the low power mode turned off like this. So after doing this, now uh, I'm going to show you how to install Photos Plus. So to do this, you need to open Safari, okay? And you need to go to this site called tabtweak.com. This is the official website uh, of developers of Photos Plus. So just go to tabtweak.com, okay? And here on tweak.com you will see like many apps, but the one that you want to install is this one called Knowledge Brow. I mean, not, not this one, <laughs> it's uh, Photos Plus, sorry. So yeah, just go and search and just type Photos, Bra Photos, yeah. And as you can see, this is the Photos uh, Plus app that allows you to recover the latest deleted photos and videos. So just tap on it one time, this will pop up. Now press on Start Injection. And as you can see, this will start connecting with your phone and then it will start uh, being downloaded automatically and installed on your home screen. So after this gets complete, you will see uh, the Photos Plus app installed on your home screen. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all. Um, then you will be able to run it. But there is an extra step that you need to do if you have been doing this for the first time, okay? Something important that you need to know is that when this it gets installed, you should see a page like this one. But um, if it's the first time you do it instead of this page, you'll see like a list of two or three apps. And what you want to do is just tap to an app, read the instructions, install the app, and then complete the instructions, install the app, okay? So that's pretty much all. Uh, after you do that, automatically you will get this page. And now you can just close this. And on your home screen, you'll see the Photos Plus app, which you will be able to just uh, use it to recover any permanently deleted photos and videos on your iPhone. And that's it. Hope this tutorial has been useful. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Peace.